Hi, I'm Reg Andre, the chairman of the board of directors for Getting Out and Staying Out. And it is my honor to be able to have a conversation with Mark Goldsmith, or MG, the founder of Getting Out and Staying Out. There are a lot of people who are thinking about how they can get engaged, how they can meet this moment. I'm talking to somebody who over 15 years ago met the moment in the most incredible way, and we want to hear so much about it. So I want to get into it, Mark. Is there anything that you can look back on in your early years that would point to you eventually running an organization like GOSA? Nothing. Not at all. The furthest thing from my mind growing up was New York City and not for profit. It was all business. The last thing in the world that I would ever think is that I would end up as a corporate executive in New York City and then eventually founding a not for profit. You went from corporate America to running your own business. And during that time, you did principal for a day. Exactly. One of the things that I always like to talk about is my first day on Rikers Island, because I did not have a clue. I walked in there, I met Gloria Ortiz. Gloria is the principal of the Horizon Academy. And we met for a few minutes, and then she took me into the classroom. So I walked into this room of 18 to 21 year olds. And from the minute I walked in, there was a great rapport between me and these young men. So I started going back. The more I went back, the more I recognized that I was doing some good. And I got the feeling that they trusted me. And I went back and I said to the principal, Gloria Ortiz, I think I'd like to start something in the community where when these guys get out, I would be there for them when they got out. These were not intuitively bad young men. They were victimized by racism, institutionalized racism. There they were, victims who never really had a chance. What I saw myself is kind of like an agent of change for them. And that support was gonna be there for them while they were on Rikers and the courtroom, and then most importantly, when they got out. And what happened is I decided to close my business and devote all of my time to these young men. It's hard for me to think about your story and not put it in the context of what's going on today. The racial equity dialogue that's happening in the country for the first time in this big of a way. And I have a lot of friends, colleagues reaching out saying, how can I get more involved? They have a sense that everything is wrong and that they want to engage in the solution. You made such a drastic decision with your life at such a late stage in your career. Talk about what it took to actually go from running your own business to deciding, you know what, I'm gonna start a not-for-profit and dedicate all of my waking life to work on the cause of ranch. There is a secret ingredient here, Reg, and the secret ingredient is my wife. Dr. Arlene Goldsmith. She runs a highly successful not-for-profit called New Alternatives for Children. So the fact that she came from the not-for-profit world, it didn't hurt for me to go out to major corporations and say that I was Dr. Arlene Goldsmith's husband, but I'm a very good salesman. What I ended up doing is selling GOSA. The whole idea that I could take the skills that I learned in corporate and transfer them to the not-for-profit world. That transference is done so easily when the people who you're helping trust you, believe that you are there for them. There are so many opportunities out there. It is incumbent upon every one of us who has the opportunity to make a difference. And all you have to do is show up and let people know that you care and they can trust you. The trust is everything. And so you've spent over 15 years of your life building and growing GOSO. How do you feel about the work that you've been able to get done? I gotta tell you, Reg, it was kind of like, it's a new beginning for the guys. It's a new beginning for me because I was corporate America. That's what I did. I was the cosmetic guy. This is totally different. I enjoyed my career in the corporate world. This brings something else totally different to me because I know I'm helping young men get their lives together. MG, you have changed the lives of so many people, myself included. And so just on behalf of the GOSO Board of Directors, thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for inspiring us to, to carry the torch. Reg, thank you.
I appreciate the opportunity to talk about Gozo because that's what I enjoy talking about the most.